the outpouring of support for Deputy Jacob Pickett and his family stretches far and wide across central Indiana. Volunteers are setting up more than 2,000 luminaries in Zionsville at this hour as part of that large and visible tribute to the fallen hero. RTV6's Katie Hines is live to show us. Katie. Yeah, Erica, this being one of those luminaries, you can see it was decorated by hand, many by children in this community, and members of the community are gathering right now to pay tribute to one of Boone County's finest. They're lining the walkways here at Heritage Trails Park with luminaries, and anyone who wants to pay tribute to the fallen deputy can come out and walk these trails tonight. These are a few of the decorated luminaries. Tonight, an estimated 2,500 will shine. I think it's a way for the community to feel like we're paying um, respect to the family, but also, you know, it, during this um, devastating time for our community. It's just a way for us to heal and feel like we're doing something to help. Organizer Kristen Kelly says it started with a post, an idea on Facebook, and quickly grew. We were going to decorate a street with luminaries, and then it became a neighborhood effort, and then all of a sudden, um, just through social media, it became a community effort. Zionsville isn't alone in sending a message. Black and blue ribbons line the doors at White Lick Elementary School. The words Pickett Strong are on the school marquee. This is where Deputy Pickett's wife, Jenny, is a first grade teacher. Our first priority here at White Lick Elementary is to support Jenny Pickett and her family. Students are writing handwritten cards of thanks to law enforcement officers. The cards will be laminated, then left on the windshields of officers' cars during services on Friday. They're also making hundreds of goodie bags to give to the officers who will be driving in the procession. They're going to be filled with snacks, um, custom-made water bottles with thank you notes on them because these officers, 400 to 700 they're talking, that are going to be in the procession, will be in the procession for a really long time, and they just need to know that they're supported. And back out here live in Zionsville, the Boone County Sheriff is among those who have arrived in the last few minutes. And I'm going to have Tony pan this way. You can see that Brick actually has just arrived, too. That is a canine partner of Deputy Pickett. So they're expecting quite an outpouring of support tonight. Quite a few people as they continue to line the trails here. It sounds like the luminaries will be set up until about 10 o'clock tonight. So anyone who wants to come out and pay tribute is welcome to do so. Reporting live in Zionsville, Katie Hines. RTV6.